Gran Pie de Port está de camino de Santiago, el French Way. San Jean Pied de Port, this is where the Camino starts. Very bad mood, very bad mood. I I just crossed into Spain. But there wasn't even a, a sign, nothing. Just realized now. It's almost 7.30. Just Valles, one kilometer and a half. This is a pass. This is this church. I went to check if it's uh, if it's open to camp, but no. So I don't know. Like I'm gonna try to find somewhere. Nonces Valles, day two of the Camino. Let's see if we can actually document something. It's chilly. All my stuff is wet. Last night was the first night in, I don't know, a year and a half crossing Europe that I paid for accommodation. I paid for an albergue of the pilgrims, the pellegrinos, thinking they had a, a dryer for my clothes. They had the dryer, but you can use it only until 7 p.m. And I arrived, it was uh, 7.30. At least I got a shower. I actually have on my phone uh, a route for the entire Camino de Santiago with the mountain bike on uh, Komoot. But I start and uh, I'm already not following it because uh, I took the, the route of the, the walkers. Then I don't know why whoever made the route on Komoot went on the, on the paved road. Look at this, Alto del Erro. I forgot to charge my GoPro batteries yesterday. But I was able to charge them while I was cycling. And uh, yeah, it really did like 20 kilometers. So we are basically crossing the Pyrenees and now we, we are on the other side basically, so yeah. Camino, just like you can follow, you can follow the yellow arrows. You don't even need a map on your phone. Just follow the arrows. There are bits and pieces that could be challenging by bike. There are some stairs and things like that, but yeah, you can go around them if you don't want to hike a bike. Yeah, that's it. The trail is nice, it's a bit technical because there are loads of stones. Some are loose, some are big, some are very pointy, but I go slowly like this, without dignity, putting the, the foot on the ground. But it's important to save the gear. Yeah, if you come and do the Camino de Santiago by bicycle, only the Camino, you can be very light. You can have a really light uh, bikepacking setup and, uh, and those technical descents are really fun, especially if you have a suspended uh, mountain bike or even just a plus size bike. It's fun and you can go down quite fast. I mean, relatively fast because uh, you can run into walkers and you might kill them. I took a break at the village 
an hour or so more more than an hour this is steep hello the shade I sent a few warm shower <laughs> requests, there's not many, like five or six. So if someone responds positively, I will uh, stay in Pamplona. Otherwise, I, I will continue and come somewhere. Last night I stay at the albergue and I feel a little bit ashamed because uh, I pay for accommodation. It was uh, the first time in over one year and a half in Europe that I paid for accommodation. The last time I paid for accommodation was in, uh, was in Egypt. It was when I took a few days off in Urgada. After Pamplona, I have another uh, 40, 50 kilometers to arrive uh, in a place where I'll meet someone that has been on my videos a few times in the Americas. I fucking hate trees that fell. What a waste. Yeah. I wish I had uh, the back of a 20 years old and not of an 80 years old. Right. Yeah, and this one, we made it. I have to say, it's really fresh to cycle next to the river and in the shade. This is not bike friendly. I saw that for the bikes, there was a, another dirt road. Why, why did I come this way? Fuck it. I'll need to push up the step, the bike. Just push the bike. Walk the steps and push the bike up. Pushing the bike, no dignity. I'm blown at 6.4. So I have the option to stay in Pamplona. I got a reply from the warm shower host. The problem is he's not gonna be home until uh, Actually, he told me to meet him somewhere in the center of Pamplona at 9.30 in the evening. And then he said, maybe we can have dinner. And then he said that they need to leave the house 7.30 in the morning, which is fine. But not sure I wanna be out and about until uh, midnight, one o'clock. Let's see, let's see. Now, what happened to this bike? Probably stolen. Really getting tired. I need to eat something.
Pamplona is a nice city, but uh, yeah, I decided to keep going because there wasn't much time to even socialize with the with the warm shower hose and uh, yeah the weather is nice i can uh, i can push through a little bit towards maria it's nice and peaceful there's nobody walking now because obviously it's way too late This bit is pretty pleasant because now I get uh, lots of uh, lots of wind. It cools me down a lot. smaller and smaller and uh, yeah almost to the top kept it to the top but also I stopped talking to the guys for like 20 minutes, half an hour. It's nice to socialize as well. To the highest point of the day. Let's see what's the, what's the view. There was two guys here that said that uh, we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't go down by the by the trail because it's uh, very dangerous. Uh, it's a usual bush. And uh, yeah, that we should go down the the paved road. But I mean, fuck it, I'll go down very slowly in places like this. Hello. halfway through I had to stop because my hands were getting a bit tired there's loads of uh, there's loads of braking and with the with the this part you have to pull these levers a lot But it's okay, nothing too difficult. There is a wildfire and there is a, an helicopter bringing water there. Can you see the helicopter? It's red. 
it's about to deploy water on the on the flames. Beautiful. Beautiful Camino. Next to the wheat. real change of scenery from yesterday. I prefer this one. Dry. Dry. Nice. to be careful when I camp tonight, not to wake up in flames. This whole field, you can see it's kind of black, it's been burned. See those hills? They're black, they've been burned now. Look, even the, this little thing burned. The flames must have been crossing the, the street. How the fuck did that happen? Must have been a hell of a flames to cross the street. But look at this house. The whole garden burned. All these trees in front, at the back. Se quemó la casa? Se quemó? Sí, del incendio cuando o sea, aquí ¿Eh? había un incendio tremendo la semana pasada que ha quemado todo el monte desde allí todo el monte sí no por eso se estaba se mirando aquí. dije no joder. está todo se quemó la ¿Cuándo, semana ¿cuándo fue la semana pasada hace una semana un incendio salió muchísimo en los telediarios en toda España se quemó venía desde Muruzábal desde la Sierra del Perdón venía todo quemándose y había un viento descomunal un viento que empezaba a venir, a venir y venía por aquí y venía por allí entonces hubo dos fuegos y este vino aquí yo vivo un poco más adelante ahí Tuvimos que ir corriendo de casa. Pero esa no se quemó y esta se quemó. Esta sí, esta es la que se ha quemado. Y esta, no, esta puede que allá arriba veo que algo le entró en las llamas también, pero menos. A esta le entró poco. Esta, esta se salvó, esta, esta se quemó. ¿Se quemaron muchas casas? No, yo creo que fue esto de aquí. No sé si hubo alguna otra casa de humanos, pero en principio las afectadas casas fueron estas. Es pues que estuvo a, punto de, estuvo a punto de entrar en aquella y aquí arriba a la derecha, una urbanización que hay ahí abajo. Se quedó por los pelos de no entrar. ¿El camino por aquí? Recto. Recto. Gracias. Holy shit. That is beautiful. I'll have to take a picture. At the backlight. Okay, I'm at the guy's house. Para cervecita, cerveza, y offer, I drink. Amadeo me brindó una cervecita, salud. <laughs> salud. I, lo I think I lost a, a little bit of time. We had a few beers and yeah, fuck it. It was, uh, it was a nice chat, back on the Camino. But the problem is there is a village very close. Would have been nice to be in the nature. A bit more nature. So I'll have to keep going for a while, I think.
the sun already set, obviously, but... How do you call it? After the sunset, there is something called civil hour, I think. It's when you can still see. But I think uh, this time of the year, the civil hour is uh, quite long. At least half an hour. Still burn. The good thing of camping in an area like this is it can burn again during the night. I guess. Nice little village. Buena. Okay, crossing the river. Not sure you can see the river. Maybe there is a gap there. Yeah, but trust me, there is a big river. So I'll... Uh, I'll be... pushing through another bit, because soon the Camino leaves the river. I think here. And... if I can be a kilometer or two... away from the river... I would much prefer. I came up from here, I thought I could camp here. But look at this fucking thing. The Caminantes, they come here to shit. I mean, for fuck's sake. Seriously, bring out trowel, you motherfuckers. Pilgrims. Dirty fucking pigs. Everybody steep. I think I wanna. It was too steep to camp anywhere on the side, so now it's a little bit more gentle. And still, I think I, when I get to the top, that could be a nice spot to camp on the top.